Doki Challenge in house we had. Uh, I know that uh, Ethan's a black belt and he's got really good guillotines. So it's not surprising that a lot of you got caught in his guillotine. Okay, um, but we should not get caught in this. Over here, and they they hop and get it right here into a standing guillotine. Okay, that is just not. I mean, he's very good at doing it. He's been doing it since he was like a blue belt. A, that, that's a you problem, okay? Any, no one should be able to just do that at will, multiple times in one night when you see it happen, okay? That's just a lack of you understanding what's happening or being aware of it or just, you know, you're reacting wrong, okay? So that's why we always gotta keep that chin. If, my, if I'm here in a good stance and he tries to do that to me, okay? Even if he gets my head down a little bit, if, if you feel this happening, he gets my head down a little bit. <laughs> just circle. Anytime you feel someone digging for a guillotine, just circle. Okay? That being said, number one, what we're going to do is he pops into the guillotine here. Boom, here. Okay? First thing I want to do, I always want to try to control this choking arm if I can. And just like make sure I'm not getting choked. Okay? Um, if I can catch it early enough, I don't even completely have to just stop the choke. I just have to get the angle, okay? First thing I can do, as soon as I get here, this hand with a C clamp on the back of the elbow, this one's coming right here to defend the choke. I'm looking into the choke here, okay? Not going behind him, I'm looking into the choke, and I'm just turning my head, circling the side, and I'm just peeling this and pushing it over, okay? I know it seems really simple, it creates an angle and it works. I'm here, he's got me all the way in it. I protect here and I just try to get my head to the inside, chin down, boom, and circle out, okay? That's what I hope you can do and implement and it's easy like that, okay? So as soon as you feel someone going to get your head in there, boom, say no, get off my head, okay? It's good practice, circle. You feel that circle, okay? If we're in it and we, I just don't feel like, like we're here, I just don't feel like I can get out of this. I can also come here and I'm just gonna push away on his hips, okay? I'm pushing away on the hips and then I'm gonna start trying to turn. If I let him get me pulled in here, this is a lot harder. I'm gonna get, get my hips away there. Now I can start working to, to circle out. It's not gonna be easy, but that's your window, okay? That's your window of opportunity. So we're gonna be drilling both those, okay? Just, it needs to be instinct. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what to do if you want to counter it, uh, one option. So, oh, some people show two you're in this. They'll say take this arm and reach up over his back here. Okay, and this can take some pressure off, but if they're really good at guillotines or they're a monster, they still may finish this, okay? This helps though. And I can try to like take him to the mat, but it doesn't just get you out necessarily. Like it should, but if he's good, it doesn't always, okay? So this one I thought is a little more effective. He gets me in the guillotine position here, Okay, I'm right here. Now, I'm gonna grab here. Okay, I'm gonna reach up, grab this arm. Now, when I step, I'm gonna to try to reach around and grab that far side hip. When I do, I'm stepping in, and I'm trying to get my head up here. Okay, just like that. When this happens, I step through, head up, grab the far hip, and I'm just sweeping the leg here. Just like I'm doing a throw, okay? Here, I'm protecting the choke. I step, I try to peel up just enough space to get my, my head up some. I come up like I'm doing, you know, like I'm lunging forward, like a squat. Step forward, pull down, grab the hip. Even if he keeps my head, look at the position I'm at. This is where I want to be to get out of a guillotine. Not the other side. I want to be cross body here, okay? It's not necessarily going to be easy to, is that okay? Yeah. It's not necessarily easy to just get up like that. You just got to make adjustments, okay? Let them get you. If they snap you to the mat, then it's a different defense, okay? We're here. The head's in. I get the elbow here. I'm fighting this choke. He's thinking, why are you grabbing this arm? You need to grab my other arm. I step in with my head going up, far hip, pulling here, sweeping that leg, and hard turn. 
boom, there. They let go, at least just like you did a foot sweep, and they go down. Most of the time they're going to go down with them, but they're going to keep over the head. Okay? Is that because it's so deep you're going for that option before the other two, or is that? Yeah, that's, if the other two work, just get out of it. Okay. This is for when they've got you here, okay. and you're pushing nothing, they're, you know, they're really digging in, and you're like, oh, I got to do something, like you're here, you're like, I'm oh, really going for it. You reach, grab that arm, boom. Because when I go up, when I go up here, when I do this, I need to, he's really got me, I'm going to, and he's going to go down, or he's going to let go, okay? So it's kind of a, a Hail Mary, get out of it, but it's, it's efficient though. If you do it correctly, it's very hard on him to keep it, okay? And it's not, you're turning with it here, so it's not really wrenching the neck. So just go slow with it for both your sakes, okay? We're going to start with the first ones and then build up to that, okay? One, two, three.